Greetings. Desire everyone is doing well. I am answering a call. I do not know if this is ancestral. I don't know if this is you, but there's names coming in. It is either for uh, Perline, Pauline, Paulette, something of that nature that keeps radiating through my ears. And the energy is loud, but what I'm hearing is, what do we need to know about Per, Paul, Lean, Et, however, okay? What do we need to know about? I'm kind of on a whim. I just finished producing the video, so, oh, I just messed my nail up whatever what's new right so <clears throat> I have no idea this is my astral matrix that um see if I can pull out the energy maybe this this has zodiacs and things of that nature so let's see what comes out because I have no idea I'm just here answering a call I did grab a couple cards that I was prompted to, but I'm not sure how none of this fits in right now. You know, so this is straight receptive flow, channeling, you know, being a conduit to see why we're here. Okay? Why this message is coming forward. I heard love rain down on me, on me, down on me. All right, what what do we need to know about Perlene? Pauline? Marlene? Marlene? Supreme Creative Source in the higher realms. What do we need to know? Heartache, pain, emotional distress. She's on a cloud. Who goes with this three of swords? Libra. Something um, needing to be learned that wasn't learned, that left a lot of. This is. know what it is but I'm saying it's so emerged so integrated that I can't tell if this is a living being or someone that is already deceased maybe this is someone that is having the outer in between maybe they're in a a sickness of disease maybe that's why my herb deck and they're in a lot of pain and they're in their head and they're if this is someone that's alive that's in a transition um, they're really within their head and really trying to make amends bring some type of balance some type of justice to whatever wrongdoings um, Whatever these wrongdoings that may have created you a level of pain, them a level of pain, I don't know how this plays, but take this for what it is. What do we need to know about Pearlene Pauling? What goes with this Three of Swords? Cancer. This is like moving on, someone transitioning. This is also, you know, the you know, the roots, the foundations with cancer energy being here. You know, this was your 
this could be someone's mother. Someone's mother is in a heart transfusion. A heart transfusion. Maybe needing a heart transfusion? I don't know. But this is a heart as well in the mind that is really crying out into God, unto God. This is like they're pleading for the release of whatever burdens or wrongdoings that they may have done um, to be freed from it. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. They were the holder to the house. They, they were very um, strategic, strategic within their routine and how they produced things and how they made things. They were even um, very um, grounded in their energy when they came to communicate what needed to be communicated. This is the energy that I'm picking up, but of course the energy can change. It can be the opposite of the pole. We also have the moon here. Yeah, this is a cycle, Pisces. This moon isn't talking to me. The moon just looks sad. It's 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 like it's a, a mirror reflection of this energy that I'm looking at here. I don't know if you can see that. This moon looks sad. It, lo it does not look content nor happy. It looks very weary. Maybe there's some prayers that have may have gone out and maybe they may feel as though that they're not heard but there's a greater transformation there's a greater purpose whatever this is what do we need to know about Perlene she's leaving a legacy that whatever this is there's a legacy that they're they're not proud of. There's something within the hidden truths of their buried treasures or their hidden things that they don't want no one to see or bear witness to the moon. They it's like this is the legacy that they do not want to leave behind for you and beyond. I'm hearing something about uncharted territories. The fear of traveling uncharted territories. I'm hearing not giving as much nurturing motherly love, um, motherly type love, if this is not a mother, and helping you to better balance within your daily routines and endeavors and seeking and building your work, your career, your job, your relationship within the Libra here. So whether this is love and, or children, however this may play, but this, what we need to know about Perlene, Pauline, Paulette, is that there's something that they're not proud of. And there's a, a generational curse. There's karma. It feels kind of like they just learned something about these things or something. And maybe if this is already an ancestor, they learned it too late. But now within the etheric realm, they're aware of it. And this may be who is working with you um, to guide you through um, your fears or your, you know, your um, determinants within your life and the directions and where you're going
and if this is one that is transitioning they're really pleading that this does not carry on that this does not carry on they fear that this will carry on and this is something that they do not desire they do not want anything else we need to know and then I'm concluding what is the message that you have what is the message for the collective individual the king of swords to the knight of swords the king and the knight don't keep looking back over the things of the past so don't allow whatever pole this is on do not allow the things of regret within your own heart to keep you within a level of fear because you made some poor choices along the way that weren't so rational that were very quick you know to move do not allow yourself to beat yourself up is what I'm hearing if this is a loss or a transition do not allow yourself to beat yourself up they want you to know how yes how you can actually bring in the new the change the innovative beliefs and morals um, of integrity of the heart back forward and bringing more balance and unity within the mind one more and that's it mama so is out of this energy it's getting hot and it had to go down to the flow nine of swords a lot of crooked people that um that are around this energy a lot of crooked people around this energy that just wants things for themselves just wants the spotlight but the final message is take care of you nine of pentacles okay take care of you you know work towards your ace of pentacles you know to bring in a new legacy and do not follow the steps yeah do not follow the steps allow yourself to rejuvenate regenerate in whatever capacity that is for you do not fight do not bicker do not resist yes but learn from the things of your past learn from the mistakes that you have bared witness thus far and I do I'm back I was just sitting here and <clears throat> after the message I came to see how Perlene fits and resonates with me it's not directly for me but it is a friend of mine's mother um, who is still alive um, presently but is of an elder <clears throat> so this can be an aunt cousin however this may be for you but I went on and was sitting here um, with my herbology tarot deck and was pulling some cards and in the cards it's speaking about medication <clears throat> medication is not working is not make letting they're not feeling good something within the dose there's something about the dose um, of the medication or maybe this medication isn't working with their physical body their physical makeup here um, but they're also dealing with a very intensified amount of inflammation that can either bore, um, be through arthritis or joint pain or something of that nature but there's also um, some heart conditions or mucus, a lot of mucus build up or phlegm build up, build, build, mm, build up. 
um, within their system um, that is affecting their heart or their blood. I'm also hearing leukemia. Um, there may be a search or um, to find out the diagnosis um, to what's going on with them. It is possible that they may have um, leukemia, um, especially if they're having any type of weird abrasions or looks within gray of the skin and things of that nature. Um, also, some of uh, um, congestion, congestive heart, <coughs> congestive heart, or maybe some type of respiratory um, infection as well. I'm hearing a caution in regards to the antibiotics um, to make sure that they're not allergic to any particular antibiotics. Okay, I just heard a sound. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Confirmation. But um, let's just see. Let's see what else wants to come out. And I'm just going to edit the video and snip this snippet in there. Anything else we need to know um, about Perlene, Pauline, Darling, Carling, Marlene? Anything else we need to know? Last time. They do not feel like the apple of the eye. They don't feel so good. They feel beaten up, eaten up, rottening. They just don't feel good. Yeah, the five of earth. Slippery elm. They do not feel well. This person internally within their physical body is not feeling good. Something within their blood. Something is secreting within their blood. Someone here has something secreting within their blood. I'm also hearing a possibility of someone having um, bleeding ulcers or something of that nature as well. I do desire that you find something useful here. Um, I don't know, but um, I do want to encourage you to stay strong through this. And whatever pole this is on, but this really feels like someone that is living. However, the message in the beginning was speaking something else that still resonates but there's some um, heart issues or some type of blistering within um, that's leaking into the blood, some type of poison, I don't know, maybe it's a food, a particular chemical in the food that they're eating and it's really going in and affecting their blood that's also causing the adver adverse effect of medications. Um, just remember to pray yourself up, you know, pray them up, um, be encouraged the best that you can while you may be enduring this or be as encouraging if this is someone that you know and they're going through and be encouraging um, and try to uplift their spirits the best that you can um, without being intrusive or without being too you know, too much, right? Um, sometimes just being present with them is just enough. Um, just knowing that someone is there to support them while they go through these trials and tribulations within their life. Save my beautiful souls. If you made it this far, you know what to do. I wish I had more for you, but this is all that I have. And until next time, Mama Solily, Grandma Spider, I'm